Hey guys, I'm Richard Neo and today we're talking about the watchOS 3 beta. So this is going to be a fun one because I'm really trying to get in on this tiny screen. I'm going to have to try to control it, so you got to bear with me a little bit. So the first thing that they talked about is that it is seven times faster. So we're going to put that to the test right now because honestly, I just don't believe it. Um, so, I mean, it's a beta. So if it's going to be faster, by the way, new loading screens, gone is that little dots that just go over and over. And yeah, it does seem to load a bit faster. It doesn't seem to load quite as fast as it used to. Um, another thing that happens is when you go back to the home screen, the app stays in memory for eight minutes. So if you go back to it, it's going to be a lot faster as well. Okay. But that's, a, that's the big thing that they, that they touted was that it's faster. So let's, let's try loading Skype again. Yeah, it's a beta. Um, so yeah, see it loads right up now. Okay. So that's the problem with the Apple Watch though. It's just too slow. Um, someone asked me just today, so I'm thinking about getting an Apple Watch. What do you think? I said, it's a 14 month old first generation product. Wait for the next one. Okay. Um, yeah, so moving on. We have a control center. Okay, so we're going to swipe up to get to that. And this is our control center here. All right, battery life, airplane modes, um, do not disturb, no sound, and all, all that jazz. But you notice that our, our complications are gone. So they are changing the interface a bit. Our notifications are in the same place. And for some reason, it has now decided that, probably because airplane mode was on for a second. No, it's not on. <laughs> it thought it was on for a moment. Okay, we're back. It would appear that rebooting the Apple Watch would get it to connect to the phone again. Now I have to type in my passcode. That is probably the most frustrating thing about making a video about the Apple Watch is that you can't let it go to sleep. Um, yeah, so we have a couple new apps. Um, we have heart rate. I don't believe that app was there before. But I'm, I don't have it on my wrist, so it's not going to measure my heart rate. We have breathe. All right, so that's all new. This is supposed to help you breathe, kind of like yoga style stuff. Uh, live a better day by taking a, a minute to breathe. Because I don't do that most minutes, right? Uh, quiet your mind, relax your body, be in the moment. Try to complete at least one session every day. All right, and then turn the crown to ch change duration. All right, be still, bring your attention to, to your breath. Pretty cool because it's really something that can help you relax. Um, take it from me, like I was really sick last week and my girlfriend was telling me to, to do these like breathing exercises and like this is an app that would have helped me sleep last week, you know, but too bad it wasn't out yet. <laughs> All right, so we also have the home app, which is also um, new to iOS 10. Um, no home found. Believe it or not, I do have a home. It's just not a smart home. All right, so we also have new watch faces, which, woo, new watch faces, right? Um, so we can, we can switch by going left to right sometimes. If it, yeah, so there's no photos synced right now, but we can switch watch faces that way, or we can do it the old-fashioned way and do it this way, and... What was it? The numeral one is new, if we can find it. Probably all the way to the right, if I had to guess. I probably should have guessed that from the beginning, but that's how it goes. There it is. You have to add it. It's numerals. And yeah, that's numerals. We also have mini Mouse. So what we would do here is we go to Customize, and we change Mickey to Minnie. And now Minnie Mouse can tap her foot on... Our Apple Watch screens in sync with everyone else's Apple Watch. And as we know, if you have a thousand Apple Watches next to each other, those feet will tap at the exact same time. And that is probably the most exciting feature of the Apple Watch. Okay, so we also have a dock, which we should be able to get to by pressing this. So we have calendar, um, all these different apps. And you can you can add apps to that from the Apple Watch app on your phone. So let's see what happens when we connect the phone. Video capture in progress. No, we don't want to end the video right now. We're recording, obviously. You know, they call it a smartwatch, right? Jeez. All right, what else do we have? Uh, different colors for the outfit on Mini. Uh, we could, 
But we do we can add our calendars to this, and that's another thing that they promise is more complications. Um, and that, that's what they call the little little widgets that you can put on your Apple Watch home screen. So you can put your calendar there, and now you have Minnie Mouse with the calendar, which is great. You know, um, you want to see this stuff at a glance. And that's really, I honestly believe that Android Wear is the one that got it right in smartwatches so far because Google has Google Now, so it can it knows what you want to see before you want to see it. And that's something that Apple really has to nail. And being that they position themselves as the privacy company, um, it's, it's tough for them to do that because they, everything they do, they want to do it from local data. Okay, so by the way, um, a side note, if you want to install this beta, do it at your own risk. Unlike tvOS, iOS, and macOS, you cannot roll back without going to an Apple store or mailing it into Apple. And trust me, if you go into the Apple store and say, oh, I installed watchOS 3 beta and it sucks and I want to roll back, they're going to look at you with disdain. All right. It's not going to be the best. It's not going to be your proudest moment. Okay. So activity sharing, you can, um, in the activity app, you can swipe to the right and share your activity. Uh, there's SOS to call 911. What's interesting about that is it'll let you call 911, but if you're in a region where you need to call, say, 999, it's going to know that you're there and it's going to call that instead. Okay. Um, there's lots of new stuff around here. And we're going to cover it in future betas as, as things start to mature. And one more app that they added is Find My Friends. Okay, um, so again, I, I love the new load. That, that's what the old loading screen used to look like. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to show you where all my friends are anyway. So <laughs> that works out. And that's about it for now. Um, there, there's definitely going to be more in the coming weeks. That's just kind of how these, these betas work, especially with the major betas. The, these are all major updates. This is how version numbering works. It's major dot minor dot bug fix. So iOS 10 will be major. iOS 10.1 will be minor. iOS 10.1.1 is bug fixes, and you're not going to see any new features at all. Okay, or most likely no new features. So... These are all major updates, so there's probably going to be about eight betas. There usually is, you know, give or take a few, and you'll see some. You'll see front-facing changes throughout them all, because they're going to refine these changes over time. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.